All right. How is everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for tuning into the Rich Chalenza Show. WTF are you talking about? So what I want to talk about today is actually why do we clutter our brains with nonsense? And I never see anybody talk about some of these crazy subjects I've come up with. And that's why I kind of bring them up. And I don't think a lot of us realize how much time we waste thinking about nonsense or bullshit that doesn't really going to benefit us at all. And I think after hearing about all these different studies is we, for the most part, you keep thinking about the same shit over and over again, right? From last week, it could be a month ago. We kind of become programmed where our brains, for the most part, um, keep thinking about the same things, right? A lot of what, that's basically who we are, and I get it. It could be work-related, relationship-wise, our kids, whatever we're going to be thinking. And then as time goes on, obviously, we do think about a lot of other things. But for the most part, most of our day, or a lot of our day, is thinking about shit that either aggravates us or is not going to benefit us. And I've been trying to, like study my own behavior lately regarding that. And I used to be an overanalyzer, I called it. I I used to say I should put a big A on my chest. I see my father has that issue as well, actually. I think it's an issue. It's great to analyze things. There's no question about that. You got to analyze things to make the right decisions. But it's when you go so far and overanalyze that makes us crazy, I think. And you got to realize a lot of times when you're overanalyzing and critiquing everybody and all these type of things, you're exhausting everybody. And I think what, I, I could speak for myself, so I'm not going to be speaking for an, everyone, anyone else. But I realized with, um, I have a thing where I think I grew up where my father owned a nightclub and my mother was very religious or whatever, but I lived in Chicago and I was always cold. I, for some reason, hated being cold even as a young boy. Don't know why uh, I even had to move to Florida. I started coming at 15 to do summer schools. My father moved down here. But I was going to move to Florida or California regardless. I didn't give a shit. I wanted to be in a warm state. My mother knew that as a little boy. So a lot of times I was always daydreaming. I was either surfing, uh, skateboarding. I was just in a warm climate even though we were... On the, uh, we were in Chicago for the most part, or right in the western suburbs, very close to Chicago. And so I almost daydreamed all the time, and then I would read a lot of comic books, and I loved uh, movies more than anything, And uh, because I think I would go to the movies, and I love going to movies, because it would almost, uh, I'd escape from where I was at. Not that I had some horrible life. I loved, you know, my father would take me to Bruce Lee movies, my mother would take me to even Sylvester Stallone movies, whatever the case, growing up in the 70s and 80s and Spielberg and all that stuff. Uh, Scorsese's movies were quite interesting because I, my favorite movie of all time is Raging Bull. I used to go to the movies to escape, but at the same time, I love going to the movies when I watch something that I can relate to. But um, as time went on, then uh, I ended up doing a lot of different things in my life. Uh, with the vending business with my father, gambling, making movies, and so on. But I realized um, that a lot of my time was spent then as time went on. It, you know, for If I was thinking about writing a script, let's just say, for a movie or writing a book, I thought that was pretty positive. You know, that was cool for me. It was a release and everything. But I catch myself a lot of times when I had free time in a car thinking about things that would just start to all of a sudden out of nowhere piss me off. Like what somebody did to me, what somebody said to me, or or why am I not in this position financially, or why did I make this stupid decision, and it would haunt me. I almost couldn't get it out of my brain. Once something kind of negative came in, then I'd be thinking about it at night, and then I could tell it actually would, you know, it was almost a mood. I'd get very moody. I was either in bad moods or really good moods, and then when I got caught in that bad mood... And then you got to realize, then I'm starting to act like an asshole to whoever I'm around to, to a certain degree. I'm snippy because I've been thinking about this or overanalyzing something or I'm still pissed off about something that happened. It could have been a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Try, I'm just telling you what I would try to, if, if this shit catch, study yourself and your own behavior. And this took me half my life, half my life, a half a century to figure out. And I'm still working on this where I don't know. 
where that came from. And I think a lot of people get emotional or pissed off off shit, shit that has nothing to do with them anymore or something they can't control anymore. It could be past relationships, past financial situations, past decisions, and we, it haunts us. Now, there's a difference between thinking in your past and utilizing or using that info so you don't do it again or make the same mistakes. But it also could be in a position where you keep bringing up bad memories or talking about them where they destroy your future. Or you don't realize how much you're aggravating others by living in the past, let's say. Or you have people that overanalyze the future that drive you crazy too. And you're thinking, you know, you know, you're you're just constantly either complaining that you don't like the way things are or the way things are going and blah, blah, blah. And you're cluttering your brain with all this shit. Now, I'm not saying everything you think about is shitty or any of that. But what I am saying is the a lot of the things you're probably thinking about aren't going to come true, good and bad. I I think if you could just be more in the moment and realize all that you have and kind of think almost like uh, the one day at a time type thing and try to do the best and think about what's going to work best for you now. Now, that doesn't mean not setting up for a future. I hope you understand the difference because obviously we all have to set a future up. If you're a student, you want to go to college and you want to have a degree and then you want to start a career. Those are all totally different things. That's wonderful. Those are things I'm not talking about. I would lo- Everybody should be doing that, I think. I'm talking about the things that that are kind of just a waste. And if we all have 24 hours a day, and there's a lot of time in those 24 hours a day to think about a lot of different things, <clears throat> especially, let me get some water, especially before you fall asleep or when you wake up, you're eating breakfast, when you're not on the phone, hopefully, or when you're driving, maybe, <clears throat> you may even be listening to this podcast or whatever the case may be. Um, those aren't, you know, you're, you're always, even when you're listening to something is what I'm saying, or doing something, you're still thinking about something. And a lot of times, it's not good thoughts. And sometimes things can just literally make us crazy. Try to catch yourself, you know, uh, and try to stop that. And here's the thing, too, that I realized, which took me years. And listening to a lot of people, I just, actually, I just did a podcast called um, Quit Bullshitting. And I also talked about listening to other people's bullshit and spending a lot of time, wasting time doing that. It could be texting uh, on the phone, emailing, things that you catch yourself just wasting your time. You're back to cluttering your brain with a lot of nonsense. They're They're just fillers throughout the day and they're not doing anything for you to benefit anything a lot of times. And that doesn't mean I'm telling you to stop listening to your friends or talking or anything like that. But a lot of times, you're better off reading a book throughout the day or maybe watching something that you really would enjoy or going for a walk and just start really figuring out who you are and why do you think the way you think. And a lot of us, I think, or a lot of people are in a bad situation. I can't say a lot of us, but a lot of people are in a bad situation, but they never really figured out how they ended up in that bad position because the truth was a lot of their thoughts or a lot of their actions weren't that good and they don't want to call themselves out on it or they keep they keep doing the same shit over and over and over again and they wonder why they're not getting you know different results it's most of your results are coming from the way you think because the way you're thinking are basically how you're acting so your actions which obviously is all coming from your brain, just really pay attention to the way you're behaving and become so much, you know, that's one thing I've been working on more than anything is self-awareness, especially the way I treat others and treat myself. I I think most people don't even realize how they really, how they treat themselves. Um, Or like throughout the day, they're so, I don't want to say mechanical, life is such a routine. But a lot of them may drink too much, smoke too much, again, clutter their brain with a lot of negativity, argue with themselves in their brain. A lot of people don't even talk about that. And I can assure you, a lot of us argue with ourselves, which sounds crazy. But we'll be like, well, I want to do this. Another part of your brain, I don't want to do that. Or that's going to lead to this. Well, that's going to lead to that. Well, if I do this, it's... It's kind of crazy a lot of the way we think 
which it's it's quite interesting, but really get a hold on to get a hold of yourself with your brain and start i if i the one thing i would highly recommend for anybody is start studying your behavior and start reading and researching what makes us behave the way we behave because i don't think a lot of us realize how important the brain is and how powerful it is and how much it's in control i think a lot of us just think we just do whatever we do um But the truth is, if you want to make changes, it's going to all start with the way you live, the way you think, and the way you act. So that was just something I thought I would do a podcast on, is is this. So yeah, please be aware of your actions. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. If you change, you might want to check out my YouTube channel. Um, Let's see, just Rich Chalenza. And then if you want to go to my website, richchalenza.com, and I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And sometimes I do, you know, these podcasts are a half hour long, sometimes 20, sometimes 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, that's really all I got to say about that. But please don't clutter your brain with a lot of bullshit. It is not worth it, especially at night if you're losing sleep. You lose a half an hour, an hour at night being miserable or, you know, just arguing with yourself or being a, or just, Whatever the case may be, look at it at the end of the week, at the end of the month, how much uh, snooze, how much sleep you're losing. Take care of yourself, man. Your brain, it's an incredible muscle. Take care of that. Start, you know, really paying attention to what you're doing, what you're thinking about, how you're acting towards others, and the information that you have coming in. Don't get cluttered with all bullshit. I just did a podcast with that as well regarding the news or maybe especially now with all the the fighting with politics and all this different type of things I get you want to learn and that's great but a lot of things we're learning aren't that positive or they're not that good for us don't clutter yourself with a lot of bullshit a lot of people are talking a lot of shit out there be just be very aware of that and You know, and you know, just take time, I think, sometimes too, to listen to really great people. There's a lot of great people probably around you that you don't pay attention to or you don't have conversations with, maybe you want to reach out to. And sometimes it could even be our kids. Sometimes we're just kind of mechanical. And now that my kids are older, they're adults. But my mother used to always say to me, You talk to your kids like they're adults. And I'm like, Yeah, because I want them to talk back to me like I'm an adult. And don't get me wrong, I would I have two daughters. I would baby them as well, like every other father. But even now when they talk to me, I don't want any bullshit. Like I I I want to learn about them. I want to know what they're going through. I want an honest approach. I don't want and I, I'm sure daughters, sons, we all hide things. I get it. Uh but for the most part, it it's you're around a lot of people, and I think what social media and our phones and all that, we're kind of losing touch with one another. And again, spending a lot of time with a lot of bullshit back to social media, especially Facebook, Instagram, and a lot of these things, we're like more caught up in other people's lives than really paying attention to our own. So just something to think about. All right, take care, and uh, if you're traveling, safe travels.